All right, hello class. Um, what I wanted to do today was to uh, briefly go through some uh, library <coughs> library resources uh, because you're going to use this for um, our other discussion activity this week. This is going to involve finding uh, at least two sources in the library databases that that you can use on on your project. Um, so this. Um, could be a source that um, you get from a like an article from a database. I'm also going to show you how to find some video resources as well. So this is the uh, the library homepage, and from this page you can click on resources, and the resource page is where you're going to find what you're looking for. Now, in order to use these resources off campus you will have to log in with your, your Rose State ID. And uh, that ID should be activated. Um, if, you've if you've ever logged into a computer on campus this semester, it's automatically activated. If not, you can, you can visit the library and uh, they can activate your account for you. So, so just let me know if you have any trouble with that. But um, once you're on this resource page, you can click on online databases. And you then have a lot of databases to choose from. I would recommend EBSCOhost. And you can then you know, choose whichever ones you want. These first two are going to um, Academic Search Complete and Search Elite are going to give you uh, pretty much what you might need. Um, these will generate uh, results from thousands of different sources. So for our purposes, uh, this should be fine. And OK, so once you're here, if I were to you know, want to look up like prehistoric cave paintings as my topic, and um, you know, we, then, we then get to here, and this is where you can choose from your sources. Oh, uh, sorry, class I had to step away for a moment. So, um, so once you have these these results, you um, can get to a number of different uh, different articles, and you just you find ones that um, that really match your your interests. So, let's say that I wanted to look at to look at this one, and once I click on the source, I have a lot of different options here. Uh, there's an abstract that summarizes it. And on the right side, you can see that there is a citation button. You can scroll down, and here is the MLA citation. Today's activity is going to ask you to post uh, the MLA citation from two different sources. So this, um, this activity will you know, give you a chance to, um, to work from that, to do that. And um, you can easily just copy that MLA citation directly from the uh, EBSCO database. And then to access the full text of the article, you can just click on, uh, click on it and, um, and here it is. And so this is a fairly short article, but, but you might, you know, might use this for, for a project. So, um, okay. So that's EBSCOhost. That takes you through how you find an article there. You want to make sure that you um, you use keywords that uh, are likely to produce results that you're looking for. That that sometimes requires some you know some finessing, some experimentation here and there. Um, okay. Now the other resource I wanted to show you is in um, video streaming. So you click video streaming and you click films on demand. You can use documentaries as sources for your work. And uh, so this is a, a database that is, um, is specifically for film. And I'll just see what, uh, what I come up with here. Okay, so this is talking about a number of different cave paintings and you know maybe like one of these i'm going to compare 
ones that I'm writing about to uh, to somewhere else. And, you know, then so then I can just click that. And I have the, uh, the source. And I also, by the way, can click the citation button here. And it's on MLA. And I just copy directly from that onto um, onto my work. So that is another method that you can use in order to uh, to access this material is uh, to just click the citation button. It's right there. The uh, these films also have transcripts with them, so you can click the transcript button, and that's going to make it much easier to uh, to quote from the source. And you can search, you know, whatever terms you want to. And, uh, and, and you can also jump ahead in the film just by clicking any of the, the words there. So, uh, so those are the two resources that I'm gonna cover today for this. And uh, that should, should allow you to definitely find um, the, the two sources I'm asking for. I'd like for you to use three for the essay, but, um, but two is fine for, uh, for this particular activity. So I will, um, I had some issues accessing my Zoom recording from Monday, but I got that sorted out. So I'll have that recording and this one, and uh, I'll have those posted to the class today, along with uh, links to our activities. Um, all right, so that's, um, that's all for, for my recording, and uh, appreciate your attendance, and I will um, be in touch on the discussion boards.